Yes, I'm not going to be pulling for a character in this video. The main subject of today's video is we're going to be getting some relics. I know that for a lot of people out there, relics is one of the biggest problems that you would face. I mean, you can get traces materials quite easily and also farming for the ascension material, that's also quite easy. But when it comes to getting the correct stats and the correct main oh stat God. and also the correct pieces for relics, that's a whole new different story. And so today I thought of using these 550 remains and also turning the other 5 star relics that I don't really need into scraps and afterwards we're going to try and get amazing pieces for my characters. At the moment, I'm not really sure which characters do I really need to build in terms of relics because my Kafka, she's got her own set already. The three most recent characters that I'm building are Jeopard and Yukong and also Shushan. I'm trying to get Yukong up to level 80 and use her. At the moment, I use Tenyu with my Kafka mainly, and so if I want to play Seelie in Memory of Chaos, for example, then I'll probably need another support, and that's why I'm going to be building Yukong. And I think if we manage to get Yukong stuff early, I might spend the rest of the scraps on getting some better route pieces, because as you can see, these are all four star pieces right now, and I think we can improve on that. I mean, the stats aren't that bad. Okay, never mind. Yeah, these are quite random in terms of the stats. And also this, this isn't good. At the moment, I think the messenger set is probably going to be the best four piece for Yukong. You give a lot of speed to your allies, and I just think that it's a very, very good thing for a character like Seelie, who really depends on speed. We all know that Seelie is basically an AoE DPS, but at the same time, getting more speed just makes sure that she can finish everything in a single turn, and I think we're gonna go for this set. As for the planet ornaments, I'm not too sure which set is going to be the best on her. I mean, at the moment, I've got something on her, right? Yeah, so I've got this link rope already on her and also this imaginary damage planet sphere so i think we're just gonna stick with this so that simple things down to only me having to get the messenger set then all right let's start with the head then i think one thing that i really like about yukong and other supports in general in honkai star Rail is that you don't really need to be that picky about substats on your relics my yukong is going to use the space station set and also this set which means that speed is going to be the only substat theoretically that i'm going to need to look for in her relics all right let's just start with the first one then come on we just want speed as long as there's speed i'm happy and of course there's no speed second one come on just give me a speed it's not really that hard. Hey, there we go. Speed and also effect res and also attack percent. Okay, we're definitely using this one. And the next one, we're moving on to the hand piece. So the same situation here. Come on. Speed, speed, speed. Uh, not really what we're looking for. Come on, please be speed. Okay, actually, no, this isn't okay. And still a no. Come on. Please have speed. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, have speed. What is this? Uh, I thought this was actually a good piece because of how long all the words are, but nah. So we're going to keep on trying getting a hand piece with the speed substat until we reach 10 over here. And hopefully this one is going to be it. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I don't want to waste any more things. Come on, please, please, speed. Last one, speed. I know it is this one. For sure, yeah, let's go. Lock up this one. As for the body piece, we're gonna need the main stat of attack or HP. And once again, the only substat that we're gonna need is probably going to be speed. I only have one self modeling resin, and so I think I'm gonna use this as like my last resort. So let's just get started then. We've been very, very well and lucky, so come on. Crit rate. Nope. Alright, this one. Attack. Attack. HP. Come on. But right, it has to be this one though. Come on, attack. Nice, we've got an attack one. I think I'm just gonna keep it as it is. We've got enough speed from the two piece here and we also have some speed on our planet ornament and also our link rope, I'm assuming. I'm not really too sure. We're gonna just leave it as it is. And moving on to the feet piece, of course the main stat that we're gonna look for is going to be speed. So let me just figure this out in my head. If we don't get a feet piece with speed main stat until we are on our last sort of like 100 relic scraps then we're gonna have to use the customized synthesis using this self-modeling resin i don't know why it took me that long to figure it out but yeah that is going to be that let's just get started before my brain completely gets fried come on make it come early this one speed wow actually is speed all right so yeah 
This is all done then for Yukon. Not going to lie, I'm actually quite surprised at how fast we managed to get Yukon stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to get some Welt stuff as well. Of course, the main four pieces that we're going to aim for is going to be the Wastelander set because of how it gives an imaginary damage bonus. And it also gives a lot of good stuff when you attack the buffed enemies, which is basically what Welt's kit does. Because of how we only have seven chances left over to get relics, I think we're going to start from the body piece and then move to the feet. And if we have anything left over, then we're going to do the head and hand. At the moment, the relics that I have on well aren't the worst, but at the same time, they aren't that good, which is why I'm doing this whole video. But at the same time, I think we can manage with only a two-piece wasteland set with the other two pieces that i currently have on well as for the main set that we would want on the body piece that's going to be either crit rate or crit damage either one i'm fine i guess we should just get started hopefully we get it in the first goal and this is going to be defense okay what about the second one come on crit rate what is this alcohol healing boost the third one this is going to be it i just can feel it not being the one that I want, I guess. Let's make it so that this is the one that we need. Come on, crit rate, crit damage. Ooh, this one's actually good though. The thing that I'm thinking right now is that I'm just going to lock it for the moment. And we're going to go get the feet piece. Simply because if I were down to our last three chances, I would much rather get a feet piece with the correct main stat. Even though the last piece that we got wasn't necessarily the correct main stat of crit rate or crit damage i still had both of them as substat with attack as its main stat so i think that i should get the feet piece with the correct main stat first before returning to the body piece and for the last one i might just use the self-modeling resin because i don't really mind using it and i think well is going to be one of those characters that i'm gonna use quite a lot once he's like fully built either way that's enough explaining i think we should just get straight into it let's just press this button and hopefully we get the correct main stat that we're looking for Let's see, attack, one second, I'm actually not too sure whether we would want attack as the main stat. I think it is something along the lines of attack or speed, yeah, it's either attack or speed. But the substats on this thing isn't that great, so I think we're gonna keep on making another one. Second one, come on, this has to be speed. And it actually was speed. Okay, so we're just gonna lock this one then. And as for the last one, I think I'm gonna go for either a headpiece or a hands piece. So at the moment, the headpiece for Welt looks something like this, and the handpiece looks like this. So I think it's very clear that we're going to go for a handpiece instead. I mean, look at the headpiece. It has both crit rate and crit damage, and also effective rate. Basically the ideal piece here, except for the flat defense. So let's see what this final piece is going to look like. Please have crit rate and crit damage. Please... Okay, that's like the exact opposite of what I hoped for. We need effect hit rate and we got effect rest. We want crit damage and crit rate and we got flat defense and also defense percentage. So yeah, I'm not too sure about this one, Chief. Before I end off today's video, I think we're just going to level up Yukon stuff because Yukon's going to be one of those characters I would like to use as soon as possible. And at the moment, she's not really in a usable state. And the most direct way that we can do that is to level up the boots. So let's just level that really quickly to level 6, I think. That's a good stopping point. I don't really have enough fodder to level all of these pieces up to max level. And yeah, let's just do that. And come on, be some good stats. Ooh, crit damage and crit rate. This is actually coming to be a very, very good piece. As for the next piece that we should level up, I think that's going to be the link rope. Energy regeneration rate is one very, very important stat. The reason for this is very simple. You would want to use Yukong's ultimate as much as possible. So I guess we should level this piece up to level six as well. Come on, go into effective rate. Uh, you actually did. Okay. I mean, the substats are quite bad, so I'm not really looking at anything in particular. I don't really mind as soon as it doesn't all go into HP or HP percent. Next up is going to be the body piece. And we got effective rate and also break effect. Nice. And then the hand piece that I already have level up to level 3. Come on, go into speed. And break effect. Not the worst thing in the world. And finally, the head piece. Come on, be something good. Go into speed again. Okay, effect rest and flat attack. I really like how I didn't really expect anything at the beginning, but at the same time, seeing this as the result really just sucks. Like, it really, really sucks. 
and I think this is going to be it for today's video. I'm really happy with what we got. And one thing that I really want to talk about is that in Star currently, I'm just trying to build up all my supports so that I can fight Memory of Chaos more easily and more comfortably. I thought that having Kafka E2 and her signature light clone alone was going to be enough, but I guess I'm wrong because of the fact that all my supports aren't really that well built. My Tingu is decently built, but that's really it. And most of the time in Memory of Chaos, most enemies don't really have lightning as their weakness type, and most of them would have weakness types of wind and also physical. I'm slowly realizing that you really need to have a good roster of characters on your account if you really really want to beat Memory of Chaos. Not only do you need characters with strong kits, but you also need characters with the correct element, because without the correct element, you won't be able to break any of the toughness bars, and yeah, we're just gonna be stuck in Memory of Chaos for an entire hour. I'm gonna level up the relics off camera throughout the week, and hopefully by the time I make a video on my supports, or maybe a video on another team that I'm gonna use in the future, I'll be able to showcase you guys what my Yukong is like. If you enjoyed today's video, please like the video and also subscribe if you're new because it really, really helps me out. I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 and if I can reach that goal, that'll absolutely make my year. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!